Maltov International Market, also known as the food market, is nothing different from what it has always been, busy with buying and selling ongoing. A visit to the market leaders gives us an insight on how things are run with the reality of COVID-19 on ground. We have about 10 gates into our market. All the gates have been shut. We only leave three. Those where people are coming in to buy goods. And before they enter to our, into our market, we will make sure that they have washed their hand, give them hands and a tether to rub for their hand, and we can also temper them before allowing them to come into the market and buy the produce. This is the process that the market leadership or the market authority have been taking since the COVID-19 started almost three months. Well, as we moved around the market, it is obvious that effort is being made by the people to comply, but full compliance is not yet achieved. Uh, it's averting a lot because there is no market, every place dry. And this one that we are using to cover mouth say, it's like bondage. It's like bondage. So, as I say earlier, that is God that can cure it, and it's God that will clear everything that is happening in this life. As the federal government relaxes the lockdown, and on, we are now on the second phase of the ease of the lockdown, my 12th international market seems to be the same, and life seems to be usual with the market people from what we can see. The question is, even though the lockdown is being eased, does it take away the reality of COVID-19? And do people understand the seriousness of this matter? From Mile 12 International Market, Amaka Okoye, and it's back to you in the studio.